The first song I'd like to do this evening is one that my lady won't usually let me sing in her presence. <laughs> but she's not here. But she is not here. We find worthy examples to follow in the praise songs of the Middle Ages and our own current Middle Ages. And this song I wrote for my wife, who could not be here with me this weekend, but who is too often my inspiration and my better example. The words are poetic, but not exaggerated. Sea ladies from España, south or dark and lovely mystery. Proud daughters of the German king, set man's hearts aflame. But soft look now to Scotland's shores, where aim a quiet beauty lies. Their flesh and spirit both enmeshed, she soothes the maddest soul. Unseen would rest the finest jewel upon that snowy breast. A single drop of water to the lips of drowning men. When Margaret Maylie smiles down a child's unburdened joy, then Solomon's great song of songs falls short of movement's need. As wise men from the eastern lands are said with words to mesmerize, so too when Margaret Maylie speaks, all other wisdom fails. As hills which lie at mountains' feet where shrouds of deepest shade. Her skill with paint and pen obscure the works of other worthy men. Mark you how Margaret may lease so well doth serve her fellow man. When others give the curtis, no, from her lips, hear ah, ah, yes. Christ's servant, so her name marks her a row, she follows faithfully. As angel's voice called Joan to war, so may least is called to peace. To her is due all courtesy, a lady in every truest sense. Example for the finest queen, they do well to follow in faith. One thing more describes her best of all, true friend to have and hold. Thus down upon full bended knee, give praise, I praise, Margaret Mayle. What's that? Oh,